today, September 27th, 2015, at uh, Sitka Museum for Totems, Sitka National Park. This carving is being carved by Tommy Joseph, a carver here in Sitka. And it is a copy of this pole. Tommy is starting to work in the details on this pole. This is a slab of wood from the very same tree. And here is the new one. And I'm showing you the details. This is a Cormorant Memorial Pole. Here are some pieces that have been removed, and just to show you the color and the quality of the wood, it's cedar. Here's sections of the wood, just to show you where the wood came from, the pieces left over after the log was squared to make this shape. and the beak is added on. This is a repair done on this totem pole, the cormorant totem pole that Tommy Joseph is carving. This is what he is gluing together. Tommy is working in the upper portion, and that's the tail of the cormorant, which is being adhered to the main pole. Here is the back side of the original cormorant mortuary pole. Just showing you the tail. Now I'm showing you some detail. How fascinating the detail of this view is showing in the very nature of carving. Such character in this detail is amazing. Here's a close-up of the tail section. Here I'm showing you where the tail, the bottom of the tail, is joining up with the wing. Here are the wings in detail from the bottom. Here is the tail, as you can see, a typical cormorant tail, actually. We're looking at the wing and the body. Here is the wing. Here, here is the body. All part of one piece of wood. The beak is elsewhere. Tommy has carved it, but it is not on this pole at this time. This is the beak on the original cormorant pole. These are the changes since last week that Tommy has made on this pole. He has rotated it 90 degrees and reinstalled the beak. You can see the definition to the wings. Here are the feet and here are the legs. 
and the lower portion of the belly and the inside of the wing just to show you here is the wing the upper wing as it is attached it's actually part of the log with the tail just showing you can see how the wing is articulated in the tail and across the way the older pole I'm showing you the wing starting with the wing that is on the left side then here is the belly with the legs and feet in the middle and the wing that's on the right side here is the wing showing you the great detail of the feathers and the incredible skill required to carve this to see how this comes to life as Tommy uses his chisels it's one thing to carve something smooth but it's another thing to carve something like this it's one of those hard to believe types of things and how to make this a happening which gives it a visuality that's very different than if it were carved in another direction so it would be just smooth this is absolutely fascinating how this is prepared how each chisel mark has a definite pathway that relates to this figure. It's very interesting all of these details. Here is the beak of the cormorant with its unique personality that only a cormorant has. Here is the eye of the cormorant. Looking at the eye of the cormorant from the top down. and how it relates to the rest of the beak now here's the back of the head and the wing as it is coming off and the tail here's some more detail of the feathers on the wing and then how it goes down into the tail and what is chosen to express the tail only a cormorant has a tail that looks like this. Here's the feathers on the back of the head. So you can see how it all is falling together to make the personality of this cormorant come to life. Here's the joint of the wing and the tail and the leg with its feet so typical of the cormorant if you've ever seen them up on a branch they sort of have this look to them here is the original pole And here is what Tommy is creating. This is Gail Ferris, your narrator and videographer. Thank you for watching my video. I took this in 2015 at the Totem Park in Sitka.